What if the planets were in reverse order? So as you can see from this simulation, I have already inverted the planet. So Neptune is now the closest planet to the sun. And Mercury is all the way in the orbit of Neptune as the furthest planet from the sun. So all the gas giants within a very close region of space. This is going to cause some chaos. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So let's go ahead and speed up time and watch as probably due to Saturn probably will cause a bit of turmoil here I mean maybe maybe they will maybe they won't the Sun obviously has a bigger presence now all the gas giants are close together so let's go ahead and see how this will unfold if we look in the outer system there may be a bit more wobble due to the gas giants being very close together as well so let's have a look and see what chaos unfolds here so so far so good let's go ahead and uh, get a bit more time sped up but, you know, the sun having a bigger presence here because all the planets are so close to the sun. The sun's pull is a lot stronger. But we can see that the Uranus orbit seems to be the one getting uh, moved the most in the former, formerly Venus's orbit. That orbit is having a slight wobble with uh, Neptune and Saturn by the looks of things. We can see Saturn's orbit where the Earth originally was is also having a bit of a wobble. Probably due to the presence of the larger Jupiter in the orbit of Mars. Again, if we look further out, the outer solar system is staying the same. The inner planets in the outer solar system, they're so far apart, they're having no pull on each other at all, hardly. So all the action is mainly in the inner solar system, as we can see. And yeah, the Uranus and uh, Saturn orbits seem to be having the most uh, problems. Now, my guess is this eventually will result in an ejection of one of them. We will have to see. I mean, Uranus's orbit is struggling in there, in the Venus orbit. It is slowly being pulled around. We can see it's almost in the same region of space as Saturn now, close in there. Let's go a little faster and watch. Oh, now Uranus has moved inwards and is now sharing an orbit close to Neptune in the very inner solar system. Let's go ahead and just slow this down quickly. And as you can see, they're both sharing an orbit close inwards. This is a, a very bizarre result, but it's merged, it's moved closer. So now the ice giants are sharing a very similar orbit. Okay, but will they last? Now they're both sharing a region of space. Now, Neptune is the second planet from the Sun, so Uranus and Neptune have swapped in a way here. That is a very, very bizarre result. Due to Saturn's orbit seems to have also calmed down as well. Right, the simulation has been running for about five minutes now, and Uranus and Neptune seem to have calmed down together as well. I guess having uh, the closer uh, ice giants the Sun has made all the difference. But what is interesting is the planet with the least mass, which is Uranus, is now the closest to the Sun. The planet obviously with the largest mass is Jupiter, so Uranus is the smallest, Neptune obviously second, Saturn and Jupiter, they're in order of their mass, which is an interesting, uh, there could be an anomaly, could just be a uh, random fate, but it's interesting how they've ended up that way.